So this is a session on how to do a hands-on demo training with the Pac-50. So we're going to use a power supply here. Use whatever you've got that can power up a sensor. Even the uh, IO-Link Master, the SI-Link box will work uh, to power it up. And the squeeze bulb. So what we have here is a squeeze bulb uh, with a push-in fitting pushing into a G-thread adapter uh, that can be used for G-threads. The Pac-50 that we're going to show demo here has a push-in fitting. Now there's also versions that have ports right in the back or on the side uh, for G-threads and MPT. So we're going to pull back on the release, push it, pull it back with one hand and pull on the pull on the tube with the other. And then we're going to take it, take a, put that out to the side, take the tube and push it into the push-in fitting. All right, now we've got air pressure. We're going to hook up our power and get it powered up. And we're going to see the, the screen come up. It goes green, it goes red, kind of showing the different colors um, that it can turn based on switch point. So what are the switch points? Let's check it out here and let's see what we can get to uh, with the squeeze bulb. Right now it's set for one bar. So let's give it a good squeeze and let's see what kind of pressure ranges we can get to. So as we squeeze the bulb, uh, getting up to almost one bar. Uh, so we like to get a point where there's a switch point change. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the switch point. So we're going to hold the right key and it even says set, hold, you know, the hold to hold the button. So we're going to press that and we're going to hold it and it's going to go into set mode. So we're going to press it, hold it, hold key, and now here's set point one. We're going to press the middle key, the enter key, to go into that, and we're going to use the up and down arrow key to select something, let's say, let's say point four bar. All right, we're going to hit the enter button in the middle, and we're going to get into attention. Um, it's basically because we need to shift the release point. The release point's really close. It's 0.39, and our switch point's 0.4. So we're going to adjust that release point. So we're going to move the down arrow key. Instead of the release set point, we're going to change it to release point. Press the middle key to go into the release point. Use the down arrow key to get it to, let's say, 0.3. Press the middle enter key, and now we have a 0.3 bar release point and a 0.4 bar set point. All right, so now let's squeeze the bulb, and let's see what it looks like. Uh, we're going to go back in through the menu until it gets back to the main screen and we're going to squeeze and once the pressure gets to 0.4 we will see an output turn on and screen go green which is what we're looking for. And then as we release the pressure using a little release switch there uh, as soon as it goes down to past 0.3 then the output turns off it goes red. So we'll show that again here as we start to squeeze as soon as we hit 0.4 outputs turn on screen goes green. Sometimes the connections can be a little leaky, so when you let go, the, the pressure actually starts to leak, which is actually kind of nice. You can watch it leak down and, and uh, turn off at 0.3. So one of the things we want to do is get this back to factory defaults again. So we're going to go in here and we're going to toggle all the way through the switch points, the release points, and there's menu. And we're going to press that and it says reset. No? Well, yes. We actually want it to be yes. Press the enter key and we've reset it back to factory defaults. Uh, that way we can reset to the different teach points next time. Uh, go scroll all the way through and get back to the to the main menu or the main screen. Um, and that way we have everything set up the way we want it to be. You can go in and do a few other things. You can change the units. So we're going to go into the menu and scroll all the way through till it says units. And we can change units to PSI. We can also adjust the zero set. So if we say yes, it'll basically take whatever pressure it's reading right now and make it zero. So as you notice, when we first started, it wasn't zero uh, PSI, it was you know, 0.2, something like that. So now I've changed it to PSI, and we've set it to a zero um, ambient um, pressure. That's it for now. Uh, keep a lookout for uh, doing this with SOPUS and different things you can do hooking up to SOPUS. Thank you.